people are debating whether or not you have the right to live and you're not part of the discussion. You can't really talk about the gay and lesbian civil rights movement and not talk about Vito and the work that he did. I was always going to be an activist because there are just too many things wrong. I wanted to make a film about Vito to introduce him to the next generation of kids who he was doing all his work for, since Vito was literally right in the middle of everything from the very beginning. His story shows that one person can make a difference. They had character, they had personality, they had something inside that came through. Each of these women had a kind of moment where she was everything. I'm crippled with the idea of the whole age thing. In our industry, it's everything. These women who were so beautiful and at the same time were very insecure, some of these women survived that and some didn't. Of course you have to be beautiful and of course you have to work hard, but they had something very special. I'm Chris Crocker, and I'm the future. Getting to know him, it was really beautiful to watch how a lot of the characters that come out in his video blogs come from a very genuine place. I've made over a thousand videos, and it's spawned a following. He's always slipping through this space of, is he performing? Is he sharing his life? Who is this person reaching out to the, the rest of the world? It was a story that needed to be told. Performance has never been a regular form of art, so I want to really to be a real form of art in respect before I die. <laughs> Marina talked about how the artist is present is something that she's prepared her whole life for, and I really believe it, having witnessed her process. It's really performance become life itself. The goal we set for ourselves was to provide an experience that we had being there firsthand, and that's the greatest achievement that I could have hoped for. The film has been such a wonderful tool to see their stories and understand them in a way that you couldn't imagine. The Japanese people, they're obsessed with the cherry blossom as a symbol of fragile, fleeting, precious life. And so the film really became about the journey from the tsunami to the cherry blossom with that polarity of destruction and, and creation. Seeing this park filled with birds, it's like the trees were hung with ornaments. I wanted to make the film because I was fascinated. So many birds, that such wildlife exists in the middle of New York City. I couldn't believe that Central Park was so full of birds. I just thought I had discovered this unlimited resource. This is something kind of magical and knowing that there are 40, 50, 60 different kinds of birds around me at any given moment. But I, I, so I think that the hardest part was really just finding the balance between, you know, try and get that tone where non-birders would come to understand there's something kind of wonderful about it. People that aren't unemployed tell you, I know how you feel, you're working. You don't know how I feel. Long Island has been a symbol of the good life. And yet, right there, you've got these people's lives falling apart who've been hit by this economic crisis. We work really hard at not letting all the stress drown us. We've got maybe 25 million people who want to work, and there are no jobs. And I hope this film does continue to empower those to stand up and find a voice. The dogs are my children. And they know it. <laughs> One thing that really surprised us was that Americans protect and destroy dogs with equal ferocity. Amongst the worst conditions I've ever seen in a puppy mill. I was really interested in how far people were willing to go for their pets. I think the biggest challenge with this project was to show both the deep devotion and love we have for our dogs, as well as the irony of how mistreated, abused, and abandoned dogs are. We all had these sort of different passions about dogs and things that we wanted to explore. And I think HBO is always great at saying, you know what, let's do something different.